Hi peoples, it's me Tristan and in this video I'm gonna show you how I paint North American Woodland Indians. The model that I'll be painting up is from Perry Miniatures, their American Wharf Independence set and it's a woodland Indian with a bow that I've primed it with grey spray, grey color. The skin will be painted up with two colors, Paleo Game color, Dark Flesh Stone and Dwarf Skin. That The base coat will be done with pure dark flesh stone and the final highlights will be done with uh, pure dwarf skin and everything in the middle will be just a mix of those two. I'm gonna do it pretty simple, I'll keep it like three tones between those two colors. And as always I speed up the video so it wouldn't uh, be too long. And I'm mixing the colors as I go along on my wet palette. You just mix the paints and start highlighting it up and you can stop at any point you feel that it's uh, like bright enough but just keep in theme with the rest of my woodland indians I'm gonna go as far as store skin and uh, everybody else in muskets and the box I'm painting up to elf skin color when I'm painting up naked skin or a lot of areas with flesh I like to follow the muscle lines and other things like that fortunately these models are very well sculpted and have mostly all the muscles and uh, those areas already sculpted in so the painting is way easier maybe you can see but I'm um, painting up all the ribs and uh, the six pack and all the muscles on the hands and leaving all those darker areas between those muscles and it uh, I feel that this really makes the character pop maybe the highlights and the shaded areas are have a way too big of a difference but that's the way I like to paint it but you shouldn't worry about uh, small mix and like, mess ups you might have I do it like this that I use the warp paint as an excuse to hide some of my mistakes now when you paint the warp paint you don't want to cover all the skin area up you just want to make wet enough it makes it with water it's like a glaze it just covers the skin you, you could actually see the skin highlights that I painted underneath the red paint and that's the point so it this, you could still see the skin through the war paint and that's what makes it I don't know pop for me painting black on these miniatures especially the hair I never highlight it I just leave it black because the rest of the model is colorful enough not to make you notice that and as for the the black cloth is is good because it gives a lot of contrast especially with the red war paint and the skin a lot of flesh around it oh thank you for watching keep it safe and I'll, I'll talk to you in the next video